All right, guys and girls, we're here to draft some best ball teams. Let's do it. All right, as MJ said, it's time to draft a dynasty of winners. I'm going to be in the next five or so drafts, I think. I'm jumping in them now. I'm going to see if they get filled in the next um, five minutes. And we'll take it from there. We got one filled. Let's share our screen here. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Do me a favor, if you enjoy my content, hit the subscribe button. We're only 85 away from reaching 1,500 subscribers. What's up, Ben? How are we doing today? Let me share my screen with you guys. Enough of my ugly mug. Um, waiting for five drafts here. Frankly, as a best ball tournament professional, someone who's earned their living doing that, embarrassing, I only have 34 entries so far. The contest is a is north of 80% filled right now. Um, so if you want to draft with me and you're watching this, you have a great chance to do that if we can get these things filled. I pulled the 112. What's the reverse of influencer season? And we kept the badge brigade away. So that's uh, that's good. Jeez, man. We got DJ Nation here. Ben already maxing. The max is 150 if you don't know. If you don't know me, I'm Liam Murphy, three-time best ball champion. Spent my morning writing an article. Going to be posted on the 33rd team soon. It's a three-part series. It's reviewing my best ball winning team. So I had some cool nuggets there. So... um I'll be sharing those on Twitter when they go live. And we're going to be tabbing it here. I don't I don't know how to share my second monitor with you guys on StreamYard. StreamYard screwing me in that regard. Um, otherwise, I would not tab it and I would just have a bunch of windows open. I think that's better for a viewership experience. But... Excited to do these drafts with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video with Davis and Pat Corain, the $2 million man. Seems like you guys did at the end there. <laughs> I misspoke, and instead of saying potential dynasties, I said the dynasties of the Bears and Lions. We all had a great laugh. That's what we try to do here. Um, so, yeah, I don't. the recent NFL news, DeAndre Hopkins heating up his trade value. It's looking like, I mean, if you read into this type of thing, I'll catch you up. Don't get me wrong. This could be stupid as hell, but DeAndre Hopkins posted on his Instagram story, Buffalo Soldier, the song. So does that mean the Buffalo Bills, Buffalo Soldier? And then he also posted that he's in Dallas right now. Now, it would be a little weird for the Cowboys to trade for Cooks and then trade for Hopkins in the same season. Um, however, it wouldn't be wouldn't it be insane. I'm actually going to share this in Pete's Discord. See if I can get these best balls filled. Looks like one is one person away. We're about to be on the clock here. We're multitasking, so we do. Um, don't love that all the elite wideouts go like digs goes by nine, but my last three best, you know, fuck it. We're going to, we're going to just take, oh God, so hard. We're going to take Eckler this time. And we're going to take Barkley. We're going, we're going old school for this one. 
old school, the running back ones of old. Do they still have it in them? Probably. Um, let me just get this all situated for you. Okay, let me close that out. So we need 10 more for this one to fill. Again, it's 435 right now. If these are not filled by 445, I'm going to leave them so that I'm not drafting all day. Um, yeah, back to DeAndre Hopkins. Put your tinfoil hats back on. No coincidences. And, I mean, people, <laughs> I don't know if big fantasy Twitter is just bored, but people are uh, responding to this. Let's let's get the Twitter open. Let's get the Twitter sphere open and just type in DeAndre Hopkins. But, like, big accounts are taking to this. Oh, we're on the clock. Rough spot to be in the three slot. Um, we're going to take Travis Kelsey this time. I don't have a lot of Kelsey. Still could be tight in one. I think maybe my first share of Kelsey. Uh, no, Andrew. We are a football-only channel. We are not doing a dinger. But I can tell that underdog wants these other contests to fill because if you go through the app, at least for me, I have to like scroll to find the big boards. Um, and so back to DeAndre Hopkins, we have Sal Capasio here. He's a Bills guy. He's the one who alerted me to the DeAndre Hopkins Instagram thing. And then I shared something of the, here, here, Michael Florio, who, um, works for the NFL.com, I guess. It says he's hearing more and more smoke about DeAndre Hopkins. Now, this to me reads like he just kind of read the same things and added the word smoke. I don't, I don't think that he has really talked to anyone from Hopkins camp or an NFL team. I really have no idea who Michael Florio is. Maybe he's plugged in, maybe he's not. But I posted last night this random Bills fan who said, I literally literally checked one hour ago to see if Josh Allen followed DeAndre Hopkins, and he did not. I checked right now, and he is now following. Now, I don't know if Ryan Horton is a good um, person to listen to, but if true, that's at least a little noticeable, right? Um, so what do we think, guys? Hopkins, is he going to be a Bill? I admittedly... And I think perhaps wrongly have not been taking DeAndre Hopkins. And I think I'm just like remembering the whiplash of last season wrong, where the way it went is Hopkins balled out when Kyler Murray was on the field. And then he sucked when he didn't. And I just kind of conflated that to um, Hopkins slowing down. But that's not what really happened. Like when when Murray was healthy, Hopkins balled. Um, and so he um, he's still good. He's old. But yeah, like well, Josh Allen, DeAndre Hopkins stack. I mean, is it going to be good for my Gabe Davis shares if Hopkins goes to Buffalo? No, probably not. But who cares? Um, and I really don't know how it would... Um, yeah, he, maybe he did quiet quit. Andrew says, <laughs> I mean, wh why not? Right? Like he's trying to save what, what he's got left in his career, but I don't know a bills duo of Diggs and Hopkins with maybe what the bills would do in that situation is they put Diggs in the slot. They'd put David, keep Davis on outside and just do and have like Hopkins be the jump ball guy, Davis, the field structure digs in the slot um but yeah but Gabe Davis notably more yards per game than DJ Moore Ben the 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 uh the Davis haters seem to forget that point five more minutes guys until I'm gonna leave these lobbies next draft is six pick uh six more people if you want draft um so I don't know Hopkins on the bills would be very interesting 
especially if Hopkins has one or two years left. Is Zeke about to be a Bengal? You know, I think that that would make sense. I don't know what that means for Joe Mixon. All right. We're here with Eckler and Barkley. We need some wideouts. Um, we'll take a Mike Williams. The Elijah Moore signing or trade also got traded to the Browns, I guess I should mention. Um, I don't know. We're going to just take Calvin Ridley this time, even though Amari Cooper has been on two of my three winning best ball teams. And let's see. Who do we got here? We got Kelsey. We're going to just take Naked Hurts. Um, none of the wideouts fell to us. All the running backs feel the same to me. Alave and Metcalf, maybe they make it back to me. Maybe they don't. But securing the onesie positions with Hurts and Kelsey. Um, but, yeah, the Zeke being a Bengal, I think, makes... Makes sense. Again, I don't know what I mean. Like, he would just be a pass protector. He's not a good runner of the football anymore. I see some people, you know, Zeke, I think there was a report. He narrowed his teams down to, um, like, the Eagles were one of them. And people are like, oh, no, what's this mean for Rashad Penny? Um, and looks like this 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 draft is very wide receiver hungry. We might get locked out. But we'll make up for it. But anyways, um, I don't, uh, I don't think Zeke signing in Philly would threaten Penny if healthy. Like Zeke's not going to be running the ball for a bunch of uh, yards. Okay, real quick, we're going to take one of these running backs. I really feel similar about all of them. We saw, you know, honestly worries me the most coming off the injury. So we're going to take Pollard. Division stack with Hertz as well. Can maybe luck into that week 17 game. Jake asks, hey Liam, anything different you're applying in your best ball process this year? Good question, Jake. Um, I want to say I have things like hard, steadfast rules I'm doing differently. I think best ball is like, at least how I perceive play it is like accumulate knowledge type of type of game and apply. So I don't know. One thing that comes to mind is maybe I'll be more mindful of the guys coming off ACL injuries. Um, particularly at wide out, maybe running back, not as much where, all right, we got a third filled. We pulled the one Oh eight. Good draft spot. If you want to draft with me and you are not in one of these ones already, we uh seven more. And I'm I'm withdrawing from there's two more minutes until 445. So I'm withdrawing from at least one of these. If this one's close, I think I'll wait it out. But if not, I'll just withdraw from both of these. So that this stream is not forever long. But um, yeah, the like guys like Michael Gallup, guys like Jameson Williams are players I drafted a lot last year. And, you know, they didn't sink me because they were cheap. But the injury certainly played a role in them not returning to form. Um, so I think there's like a big difference in that, like being like, this guy was injured last year versus the people who are like CMC is injury prone where he's not injured at all at that time. So I don't know. That's one thing I think I want to be mindful of, but yeah, I don't have like hard steadfast rules for you right now that I feel like sharing. It's also like we're drafting right now in the big board here with, if you're drafting in March, you're either sharp or a degenerate. Um, probably both. And so how drafts work right now are not the same as how they're going to work, you know, later in the draft season. Maybe even once Best Ball Mania opens. Um, I guess we should make our pick here. All right, we'll take we'll take Cooper, a falling Cooper this time at 108. 
we do like to see Mike Diggs grabbing Jonathan Taylor at the 107. How do I feel about Tim Patrick? Uh, Tim Patrick, a guy I drafted a ton last year. Still could be, like, I don't know. Tim Patrick got injured earlier in the year, like very early. So maybe he got injured early enough. Um, all right, this one is not filling, so we're, we're leaving that one. Let me find out how to do that. Leave draft. Leave draft. All right, so we, we got th we got three drafts in. Pretty good. Um, I don't think I'm going to get to 150. We're on the clock here. We got Hertz, Pollard, and Kelsey. I'm going to take Michael Pittman. Just because these, these names are like almost always there. Maybe I should have taken Drake London, but Pittman. Um, oh wait, let's let's. Uh, we got another one on the. I oh know this is the same on the turn. All right, Kittle, easy pick for us. We don't have a tight end. It is pick number sixty, so we're getting Kittle a bit past ADP. And then I honestly do not want to be taking Trevor at pick sixty, like getting in a habit of that at all. But with us having taken Calvin Ridley, we're going to do it this time. And it's not the biggest deal that, you know, I, I like Fields a lot better. I like Lamar. Like, like I literally like all these quarterbacks more than Trevor, even though Trevor was Trevor, you know, basically it's like, does he score 30 points week 17? Yes or no? Which is like, yeah, okay. He has just as good a chance of doing that. Probably. Um. Anyways. Yes, doing a VIP stream on Pete Overzet's channel tomorrow. Oh, yeah, Pittman. Um, the thing about Pittman is... We're going to grab Keenan this time. The thing about Pittman is, you know, if Anthony Richardson lands there, that's not great. We're going to grab Garrett Wilson. Not really clear, clear why Wilson is always ahead of Waddle, but Wilson's a baller. Um, you know, if Anthony Richardson lands in Indy, like we're not targeting him because of pass volume, probably. Right. Then again, hard to get worse than what Pittman saw last year. And I still think he's like talented, you know, <clears throat> this, this range is hard where I really kind of think I want to be randomizing a little bit. Like I want, I do want Jameson Williams for sure. Chris Godwin, probably going to have the worst quarterback. Tyler Lockett does it every year. Nothing's changed. Kirk, I still want to be in on. I don't think he his value dies or anything. So, I don't know. I guess Pittman is a low advance rate playoff leverage play. Not a guy I take a lot right now. Uh, but yeah, going to be doing Pete's um draft stream on his channel at 9 p.m tomorrow for his youtube members so check that out how do drafts change later on i would say later on you just get more casual crowd who <clears throat> you know maybe this is the crowd who's like command effing Zeke ezekiel elliott like where's ezekiel elliott in the third round or they're like where's derrick henry in the first round so maybe this crowd is just less likely to be like AJ Brown in the first round. But then again, people kind of draft off ADP. So um, any opinion on Trent Sherfield? He looked decent for Miami last year. Seems like the Bills are going to rotate the slot role. Yeah, I mean, if Hopkins gets traded to the Bills, the Sherfield dream is over. I have taken him on one Josh Allen team so far, but that's as a low, that's as a, like a low uh, draft rate play where it's just like drafting players. The field is not, um, he's clearly fast and had 400 yards, a couple touchdowns last year. So I think contingent value in good passing offenses is always going to be high. 
you know, like the Bills wide receiver for probably has a better chance at a 200 point season than the Panthers wide receiver two. It just requires digs to get hurt week one or something um, or whatever. So whatever. Sherfield, fast guy. Um, I think he's behind Deontay Hardy on the depth chart. I think he's behind Khalil Shakir. So there's a lot of uncertainty in Buffalo right now. And we'll be guessing until we hear things from, from a, okay, we're going to take Tony Pollard again, who, you know, like not clear to me why we take Derrick Henry always over Tony Pollard or why we take Brees Hall always over Tony Pollard or Kenneth Walker. It's like these guys, these names should really be the same. So we'll just take the cheap one. Um, Anyways, yeah, Sherfield, not a guy I would draft a lot of right now. He's a guy I draft again probably only when I draft Josh Allen and if I literally like have a throwaway at the position. Um Give us John Dotson who Oh, God, we got to make a pick here. Okay, we'll take Evan Ingram to pair with Lawrence and be done at tight end. And then we're going to take Bateman. You know, he's a guy who was injured, but it's not its not like an ACL. It's like a foot injury. And so I still think the talent's there. We're going to lean on Eckler and Barkley being our running backs. Getting weird taking Kittle and Ingram. Um, no, Chipsy, we only got three filled. So we're, we're doing three right now. I personally like Hawkinson over Mark Andrews. I don't have any Mark Andrews, though, so I would like some exposure. But... Uh, we're throwing a curveball. We're just going Christian Watson. Okay, what's going on here? We're going to go J.K. Dobbins. I don't know. Probably a good sign for Pierce. He's facing Devin Singletary, but... Dobbins probably finally fully going to be healthy. So. Potentially a workhorse running back in the seventh round as our RB2. Not the strongest group of wide receivers. Dotson, Allen, Pittman. But uh, that's what we got right now. So yeah, to close out the trencher field stuff. Until things change. I think he's just like a, I think he's like a big upgrade on like Jake Kumaro. Where, so if, if you were drafting Jake Kumaro for the Buffalo Bills, go, go for Trent Shurfield. Where Jake Kumaro, if he saw the field, big dude, not that fast. Like you're hoping he scores touchdowns. Trent Shurfield at least can house a, a, uh, a slant. So it's like, if he does see the field, it's like, oh, well, this guy's at least fast. Good question, Preston. What is the CMC Hill AJ start in the big board? I don't know what that means. It's like, does someone do that? CMC. I, I, yeah, I read going to need clarifying on your question here. Um, I don't, I don't agree with that. I mean, I guess, yeah, sure. Hawkinson may be drafted around his ceiling. Um, but he also plays tight end. And <clears throat> and his game log with the Vikings was very exciting. 
think you'd in Rose. I don't remember what week he became a Viking. Um, I guess there's some duds in here. And in the in the real NFL playoffs, he showed out too. We're going to go Tyler Lockett. A division stack with Cooper Cup. So we got the one four start here. Oh, okay. For those confused, Reed is saying that last year I said that starting Christian McCaffrey, Tyree Kill, and AJ Brown was like having pocket aces. No, by 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 that he means like it was like the nuts. It was like okay, this seems like how does this fail? Um, I don't know. I'm not there yet, Reed. I'd probably done like 600 drafts at that time, and I didn't like I had a big portfolio of CMC. I had a big portfolio of AJ Brown, but I really did not have that much Tyreek Hill because I didn't wise enough to Tyreek Hill until later in the off season, and also I did not love his Week 17 matchup, so that matters. And so, did I get lucky? Maybe. Of course, you get lucky in best ball, but uh, it worked out. Tough group of names here. We're going to take Michael Thomas, who could still break fantasy football if he's healthy and good. Like, is it going to be shocking if Michael Thomas is wide receiver 10? No. All right, Kyle Pitts. We've not drafted you a lot. You do play tight end. We do like drafting elite tight ends. So you are welcome to the team. Okay, we are not. Maybe actually we are. I don't know. I think this is an upgrade for Elijah Moore going to the Browns. And then... We're going to take A.J. Dillon, who... I don't love the offense necessarily, but if Aaron Jones gets hurt, traded, cut, whatever... Um, still has the profile of a workhorse. Big boy, he is. All right, let's roll. Let's roll the dice on the rookie. The market says this is where Zay Flowers is supposed to go, so we will oblige, and we're gonna lean on our onesies with Hertz and Kelsey. We might take another quarterback and tight end. We might not. Yeah, I mean, even when teams take pay cuts, sometimes they do. But I think the Packers in a weak NFC, I think Jordan Love's going to be fine for his weapons, at least. I'm excited to see him. Could he suck? Certainly. But I want to see it. Because the little bit we saw last year was uh, pretty exciting, I thought. I don't remember if it was like he came in for part of a game or whatever. Uh oh. We're we're in trouble when our browser is not updating us that uh our pick number. Tarek, I think you're saying this as like a, your authority on the Packers, but comes off a little bit more as Homerism. Um, we're gonna take a falling J.K. Dobbins. Like maybe I should do Cam Akers for the the stack. You know, like what what fan of a team, unless they're a, I don't know, a hater, is not like 
He does not have rose colored glasses in the off season. But yeah, <clears throat> I just don't know how mobile love is. Let's look up his his Raz for the people, his raw athletic score. Eight four five athletic score. Four seven four forty one six five ten yard split. Um, which is not that slow compared to Josh Allen. See, Josh Allen's 10 yard splits elite though, 159. They ran the same 40, but really, like, you know, quarterback's not running 40 yards. He's not running, he's not outrunning some corner going to 475. Josh Allen also weighs 237. Love coming up in at 224. Josh Allen's three cone, man. Elite. A six nine. Uh yeah, so I don't know. He's like a poor man's Josh Allen, maybe. But maybe he just won't run. Like a one six five ten yard split, maybe that means he just doesn't have the burst. Because the burst is what you care about. Like, can he get through the hole or get to the open field? We're manually checking when we're on the clock here. On some of these, where is Joe Mixon playing? Someone tell me. Brandon Cooks, interesting. Um, we're gonna go with Bateman for that little team correlation. Where if Lamar returns to the Ravens, it's like, hey, we got the RB1, hopefully. We got the wide receiver one, hopefully. Basically, all the touchdowns except for Lamar and Andrews, we hope. Uh, if Lamar does not return to the Ravens, well, that team could really suck. Do me a favor, guys, if you like my content and these free streams I put out for the people, really at my own detriment sometimes, um, hit the subscribe button for me. I just, I don't know about Kamara. But I do know if he gets to play, he's a hell of a lot more talented than Brian Robinson, probably. And if he, with us having Pollard and Dobbins, like we could survive Kamara. Like, like the hope is if you're drafting Kamara, he and he does sit out, he misses early in the season. We also have Michael Thomas for that mini team stack. Um. I showed that at the start of the stream, but I don't think I'm going to max. I'm only around like 35, 40. Okay, this is not something I would do a lot, but we're going to take Knox at a discount, small discount, to pair with Kittle and Ingram and just alpha tight end this room. And um, why don't we take Damian Harris to run with him? God, we're on the clock here. Zane Jones. Makes sense to me. The thing about Zay Jones is like, I don't think he goes from 800 yards and seven touchdowns to not playing at all. It's just maybe we temper, like maybe it's just they all hurt each other a little bit. Um, so we're getting weird on our first one here. We got four, four running backs, three tight ends, four wide outs, one QB. Okay. 
We need a quarterback, and we're still in on the Trey Lance could be a good fantasy player at worst. So let's take him in the ninth. Ben, you clearly don't know me at all. I am anti-slow draft. I will only slow draft usually if I have to. And the big board, which is like 160,000 people, is not a have to max contest for me. Um, something like a high stakes where and people are afraid in the high stakes streets, they'll only do slows. Usually to begin um that i will do slows for because it's the only way to get the action down alex asks what are the best ways to learn more about optimal roster construction well alex the best way undoubtedly is to simply watch my youtube streams in fact alex i am the first person ever to have streamed a winning best ball team that's right i recorded my $2,000 DraftKings team that won the contest. That's pretty cool. So you can check that out. You can see my thoughts as I'm drafting. Um, other, you know, I can give you some key principles here. Two to three quarterbacks. Five to seven running backs. You know, you know, six to 11 wideouts. Probably seven to 11. Two to three tight ends. Um, and then just adjust those numbers based on where you took your players. So... If you started off running back, running back, so two running backs in the first two rounds, maybe that means you're going to do max five running backs or max six, but those other guys you'll draft late. You know, you don't, same with wide receiver. If you start wide receiver, wide receiver, wide receiver, wide receiver, so four wide receivers in your first four picks, you probably should not be doing nine wide receivers. You should probably stop at, Seven, six, eight, something like that. Spend the draft capital somewhere else. Um, okay, we need some running backs on this team. Todd Penny is gone. Uh, we're on the clock. We're going to take Brian Robinson, who I'm, I just don't think Jamal Williams is going to catch lightning in the bottle again. Uh, we were not going to force a quarterback over here, but... With a falling Derek Carr, who also stacks with Kamara and Michael Thomas, he makes sense to add to the squad. And yeah, I probably could have pushed him and bet that these guys would not take him, but I don't know. Maybe the Chris Olave drafter would, especially since he only has Joe Burrow. So we have a everyone but Olave team over here. Saints are a team I was excited about last year with um, Jameis Winston. You can also check out Twitter, Alex. A lot of people have good things on Twitter. What's going on here? Okay, we need wideouts. We're going to add Rondell Moore. And um, we'll add Michael Gallup, who hopefully, without him being injured, will be a better player this year. Okay, we need running backs. Um, and so we'll take Gibson. Ooh. <clears throat> I like Antonio Gibson's price. We can push tight end with us having Kelsey. I have done four quarterback builds in the past. Notably, I got fifth in the puppy one year. The, the same year I won Best Ball Mania, I also got fifth in the puppy, or maybe sixth. Don't quote me. Um, so I have done those in the past. I, I fooled around with it somewhat last year, <clears throat> but I've done none so far. We'll take Knox as our tight end too.
And with having Kyle Pitts and Dawson Knox, we could stop at uh could stop at two if we wanted. Let me know where you guys think. Where is DeAndre Hopkins going? Where's Joe Mixon going? Where's Ezekiel Elliott going? Still a lot of dominoes to fall. I'm excited for the NFL draft. Let's pull up when's that happening. I think it's April 28th. April 27th, we're coming in a month out. I love the draft. I watched the whole draft. It's where I learned about the rookies. Graham, you're decades late, my friend. <laughs> I love the little jokes we have, guys. Me trying to educate people with cool points. You throwing it back in my face. <laughs> no, no. I mean, the, the part that had me dying about the, the dynasty discussion with Davis and uh, Pat Crane, and like I, the, the, particularly the clip I posted to Twitter, is after each team, and obviously I don't think I like heard this while doing the stream, but like after each team I said, I'm like, the Lions, Davis goes, no. The Bears, Davis is like, no. <laughs> so just saying that at the same time. Alex is saying Zeke to the Jets. I could totally see Aaron Rodgers being like, you know what we need? We need Ezekiel Elliott. Did some ayahuasca with him in my dark retreat. Uh, Zeke to the Eagles. I don't see that one. It's just painful that we don't put people on auto draft. All right, we'll take Gainwell, who's falling in ADP, and hopefully Zeke does not go there. Yeah, I think Zeke to the Bengals makes sense as a pass protector. Uh, if he comes cheap, though, they're up against the cap. Do you guys have eagle eyes? You can see in the right-hand corner here, it's supposed to tell you how many picks away you are. But my computer is struggling to update that number for me right now. Making a hard task harder. Um, in this one, we're going to take Juwan Johnson as our second tight end to complete our Saints super stack. We need wideouts over here, right? Take Nico Collins. Should get a QB upgrade. Um, Uh-oh, might have got locked out a quarterback. Whatever, we'll go naked Trevor if we have to. Solo Trev. Oh, man. All right, we'll go Tim Patrick. I like that body type for a half point PPR. Yeah, a little unlucky here with quarterbacks for us. Um, But whatever. It'll be the Trevor show. Let's take Devin Singletary. Feels like a better pick than Sean Tucker, who's fabricating numbers on Twitter. Over here, we need another quarterback. 
And we do have Christian Watson. So we'll take Jordan Love. We got Love and Lance. A little alliteration for the folks out there. It's a four quarterback, five wide out, two tight end team. Pretty balanced team. Yeah, we definitely have QB worries. Is someone doing something weird in this one? I would say yes. This guy who went Hurts, Lamar, and Tua is doing something weird. Um, obviously, I can't pay as close attention to this type of stuff when I'm multi-streaming. I would say, is anyone else doing weird stuff? This guy went for QB, Caban, Cabo Man. He went Jimmy G, Kenny Pickett, Gino, Daniel Jones. And then just these two guys like prioritized getting their third, third QB early. They went Fields, Car Love. He went Stroud, Richardson Cousins. Um, so all, all it takes is like one or two people doing weird stuff and you can get locked out at quarterback. But luckily, it's the Trevor show. And we can roll the dice on one of these late names. Zeke to the Chargers. Um, I could I could see that. I think Eckler's kind of walking back him wanting to trade though, as his market's not really materialized. We'll take DJ Chark here. Really unsure where he's going to sign. If he signs a Panther, I guess I should go MVS over him. Try, try checking where we are here on our picks. Okay, we got a while. I don't know what that means. Oh, he's tagging Michael Carter. Yeah, I think the one spot... The one and two spots are my favorite spots because you get Chase or Jefferson. Um, my least favorite spots are probably the three and four and five, maybe. Just because I don't really feel like there is a clear guy there. But I don't know. I haven't done it enough yet. Maybe the 12 spot. I guess in the 12 spot, you should just be doing what I'm doing here. Just like Eckler Barkley. But it is an interesting discussion. Like, should you go Wilson, Amon Ra, Wilson Waddle, something like that, and then try to do like Pollard, Ramondre? You know, maybe that's a better 2v2. Holden says playoff Lenny could make some noise for the Bengals or Chiefs. Guys, I think playoff Lenny may be done and over. You know, I took him on one team so far, but it's like, is he even going to sign? 3-4 town, yeah, I mean, I don't know. ADP's been changing, though. Like, the 3-4 turn used to be Pollard and Ramondre, and it was like, wow, that's pretty nutted. Okay, what do we need on this squad? Probably a running back or a wide out. We're going to take Tyquan Thorne. Second round pick last year, speed guy. We can take running backs in the other rounds. Okay. We definitely need some wide outs. We're taking Deontay Hardy. I don't know. Paris Campbell on the Giants is it's just hard because the Giants have like five slot dudes. Okay. We don't really need anything but quarterback and no quarterback is going to show up for us. Unless we feel like reaching on quarterback, which we don't. So we're just going to hit the other positions here. Uh, 
Okay, and with Campbell making it through the turn, I don't know. He's getting he's getting five million dollars. It's like maybe McCall Hartman is the pick there, but we're getting a discount on Campbell. Hopefully, he becomes a slot dude. It's not like Sterling Shepard's been the you know top bill of health. Okay, what do we need over here? Okay, well, this was around the clock here, too. We're going to take Jalen Warren. Feel good about him. Okay, we autoed Chase Brown. So we're just really picking RBs out of a hat right now. Um, and we'll take McColl. McCole Hardman, not a guy I've drafted a lot, but maybe it's just like the Chiefs don't view him that way. Hopes to be ready for OTAs. One-year contract, up to $6.5 million. He's a speedster, at least. I don't see why Sterling Shepard would... I don't think Sterling Shepard's out this year. Wandale, I have no idea. I need to refresh my memory on his injury. But it's not a great sign for Wandale that they're signing all these slot dudes. Also, maybe Wandale was not that good. Um... You know, the Giants don't have to go all in on fixing their wideouts this year. They could do it next year. Because they probably don't view themselves as just like a couple wideouts away. Okay. Fine. I'll take you, Fournette. Only because someone brought his name up. A pick 200. So we're taking him. We've stopped his slide. I literally don't know if he's playing next year. Yeah, he did. I don't know what week it happened. This is another good question. There's been a lot of rumorings for a while that he'll be a Buffalo Bill. Also a Dallas Cowboy. Um, I think he goes to a good team though. Chiefs, Cowboys, Bills. You know, like I think he does not want to sign a one year, or he could be a Ram too. He could for sure run it back. I think they're, you know, he does not want to do a one year deal, especially after tearing his ACL in the Super Bowl. But I think it's just kind of like push come to shove. It's going to be like, dude, you need to be, you need to just take this one year deal. And um, then try to get a longer term thing, which he's not like, you know, he just got a tough break, honestly. Really tough break for him. He was about to get paid. He was showing out. Man, Robert Woods. Robert Woods probably in a better spot for pass volume than he was last year, but it's like, I'm not that brave. Deontay Hardy on this team, too. Sure, Jerome Ford may be a backup. Maybe a handcuff. Not a lot of clarity on a lot of these dudes right now. Okay. 
Got our draft boards open. Are you in on Rojo? Preston, please, brother. Please give me a break. Yeah, I've been taking random rookie darts. Honestly, like a ton of the dudes I take in rounds 17 through 20, I would not be shocked at all if they just don't get the draft capital. And then I'm like, all right, well, that was fun. No more taking those guys. But no, I'm not in on Rojo, dude. Unless, unless they don't add anyone. If it's just him, Rojo, and Malik Davis or whoever, I guess. What do we know about these guys, Rasheed Weiss and Cedric Tillman? Me? I know nothing other than the market has decided they are worth roughly these prices. So, welcome to the team. Yeah, I draft Roshan. Who is Hardy? Great question. <laughs> um, he used to be, he changed his name to honor his stepdad. He used to be, let me get to this. Foster Moreau, by the way, really hope he um, sees a recovery. He has cancer, so all the best to him. I don't know. What do I even need on this team? Zamir White could be a handcuff. Like Zamir White's either getting cucked in the draft or is a handcuff to Josh Jacobs. Brought up, I brought up Deontay Hardy too much. Knew I wouldn't get him on this last team. Um. Okay, so I think we're taking Desmond Ritter because we're forced to. And then I think we might take Hendon Hooker. So uh, don't try this at home, but, you know, might get the draft capital. So screw it. Usually not a position I like to get weird at is like quarterback where it's like you don't even gain that much if the guy um, sees the field unless he's like balls. However, you know, we have no confidence at all that we even have a QB2. I think Ritter is is a starting QB. But, you know, rough for us. Levi's got picked. Tannehill got picked. Wanted one of those guys to fall here. So, felt good enough about the rest of the position, the team here. I'll break down the team once I finish these two drafts. Yeah, I've been drafting him. But if he doesn't get the draft capital, uh, goodbye. Would like to add another guy at tight end. God, Austin Hooper sucks, but he's also the starter, I think. How much is his contract? No, he's not. He's awful. Give me an auto draft. Who did I auto draft? Oh, no. We auto drafted Allen Robinson. I just turned it. I turned off the queue, and I had no idea who was at the top. So we got an Allen Robinson share. Welcome to the team. Um, yeah, I don't know. Literally, like every tight end, I would. I just, I just mind blank there, and like usually these guys are available. These Sam Laportas and shit, but looks like the the market's sharpening up. So we got Allen Robinson, who may or may not, may or may not play football this year, and is certainly. I so hope that that is the reason I win the big board. Guy I drafted a lot last year. I just need to see how it shakes out with, with the Logan Thomas. 
Also, I had like five seconds. Wallace, I think we need to see the NFL draft play out, but like I'm in on Richardson for sure if he plays. Um, Young and Stroud, I won't pretend to have something. I won't pretend to know a ton about them. But I'm presuming they're going to play. It's just like their team's probably going to suck. So even if they're good, you know, it's hard to light the, the NFL on fire as a rookie. Um, I don't know. Running back, wide out. This could go either way. I guess we'll take a wide out, actually. I was going to go running back, but we'll take Duvernay. Hope that he sees the field, is the speedster. You know, we just got a lot of question marks at wide out on this team. Like, who is Rasheed Weiss? Does Paris Camel play? Does Hardy play? Where does A. Flowers go? Does he play? What about Michael Thomas? So we got questions there. Um, all right, we finished those three. Let's look at them real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's an ugly one. Looking at the Hendon Hooker Desmond Ritter combo. All right, guys. Which one do we like best? From the 12 hole, we got Eckler, Barkley, Ridley, Williams, George Kittle, Trevor Lawrence, Evan Ingram. Look at it like this, actually. We got Lawrence, Ritter, Hooker. So rough QB room. Obviously, we need Trevor to be a top 10 quarterback. We got Eckler, Barkley, A.J. Dillon, Damon Harris, Chase Brown. Good running back room. Need Eckler and Barkley to be stars. Ridley, Mike Williams, Rashad Bateman, Elijah Moore, Rondale Moore, Michael Gallup, Nico Collins, Tim Patrick, McColl Hardman. Good wideout room. And then we got George Kittle, Evan Ingram, Dawson Knox. Elite tight end room. Um, I like it. Obviously, wish my quarterback two and three were better. Next, we got Lance and Love. This is team number two. We got Tony Pollard, J.K. Dobbins, Brian Robinson, Kenneth Gainwell, Jalen Warren, Leonard Fournette, Zemir White. So plenty of question marks in our RB room, but potentially some upside in there as well. Our wideouts, we want nine, which is a little heavy, I think, maybe when we start with Cup, Wilson, Watson, Lockett, four stars. But our back five are Bateman, DJ Chark, Tyquan Thor, and Deontay Hardy. And again, we did not mean to take Allen Robinson. That was an auto pick. Meant to take, should have just taken a tight end. And then our tight ends are Kyle Pitts and Dawson Knox. So need something out of those two. Our next one is a Hertz car team with Pollard, J.K. Dobbins, Alvin Kamara, Antonio Gibson, Devin Singletary, Jerome Ford. Our wideouts, a little weak on this team, but there's a lot of them in Michael Pittman, Keenan Allen, Jahan Dotson, Michael Thomas, Zay Flowers, Zay Jones, Deontay Hardy, Paris Campbell, Rasheed Weiss, and Deborah DuVernay. We got 10 of them. And then we got Travis Kelsey and Juwan Johnson. So we're super stacked on the Saints on this one. Um... I don't know. Pretty good team. Yeah, he hasn't. Hopefully he does. I also drafted a lot of Will Fuller last year. You know, can't get them all, guys. Anyways, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. I'll be back next week on my own channel, probably. Um, Pete and I are going to be live on his tomorrow. So hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Appreciate you all. Have a great rest of your day.